your first time tuning in, please go ahead and click the subscribe button for all my return subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. Okay, y'all, so today's video is going to be about length retention. Since my hair is straight, I just felt like, you know, maybe you could see what my length was looking like and it would resonate better because if you're new to my channel, um, the majority of the time I wear my hair curly and my curls are really, really tight. So I have a lot of shrinkage so my hair tends to look a lot shorter when it's curly than when it's straight. So since it's straight, like I said, I was like, okay, let's go ahead and do this length retention thing. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at DS Favors, and let's just get right into the video. I'm not sure if y'all can see or not, but I got my handy dandy notebook because I did not want to um, miss any of the tips that I think will definitely help with length retention. So if you're new to going natural, just trying to give you a little bit of background, length retention is when your hair has grown out from like big chop, transition, whatever it is, and you want to retain your length. A lot of people when they go natural or just not even natural but your hair growth in general you'll see that your hair will grow out but it's hard to continue to keep the same length and that's very important because we don't want to just have and I tell people this all the time stop saying oh I just want my hair to be really long you can have really long hair and you can have really long damaged hair or long hair that's not gonna grow anymore now yes I do think everybody's hair like reaches a limit where it's not gonna grow but at least it's still healthy like I'm not sure if my hair is gonna get past this length Honestly, at the end of the day, I really don't care, but I want to maintain what I have. So the first thing um, that I recommend that you do is deep condition on a regular basis. Out of all the tips that I'm going to give y'all, I feel like deep conditioning is the one that I struggle with the most. Um, I would say if you're just starting out, then in order to really get that moisture in your hair, I would recommend possibly if you can deep conditioning um, once a week. If you can't, then twice a month would be great. I usually deep condition like once a month. Some months I'll get twice a month for my hair. I would say if I deep, deep condition twice a month, then that would be good for my hair regimen and my type of hair. But deep condition on a regular basis because y'all don't understand how much deep condition, excuse me, y'all don't understand how much deep conditioning really gets into those little hair follicles in your scalp. And it just produces so much moisture that your hair needs to thrive. My next tip would be protective styling. I love protective styling. If you've been following me for a while, you know my go-to protective style is just to put two strand twists in my hair and just wear them back in a ponytail or a bun, keep it moving, take them down for a couple days, re-moisturize and twist again. That's like my go-to thing and I felt like that's when I saw the most growth in my hair. So protective style, protective style to me is any style where you're not manipulating your hair. You can do mini twists, you can do uh, mini braids, you can do regular two, two strand twists, which is like what I like, you know, on a regular basis and it's faster you can do wigs so you can wash deep condition your hair cornrow it back twist it whatever and um put a wig on it to protect it so you're not manipulating your hair um crochets i feel like cro if you crochet your hair that's safe because most of the time your hair is braided and you're just crocheting the hair through um sew-ins i'm not really a fan of sew-ins but i do feel like people use sew-ins as a protective style it's just not a protective style that i would do um once you get into things like box, box braids and passion twists and all of that just make sure that you're being careful about your edges um i tried the rubber band method from one of those protective styles and it actually broke my hair off around the edges so i was just say be safe or don't use rubber bands use um the elastic bands to help but protect Protect the style and protect your hair on a regular basis. The next one is to avoid color treatments. Now, I already said this in the beginning. These are my tips. This is what I think. This is what I believe um, will help you to, to retain your length. But I'm not a fan of, um, I guess, coloring your hair on a regular basis. I know that they have like some of those different um, products that you can put in your hair. And I think it's like a wax. So you can put it on. You can eventually it'll rinse out. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like permanent dye on your hair. Especially if it's anything that's like blonde or a color close to blonde. In my, in my experience with coloring my hair, I felt like it took a long time for my hair to grow. My hair didn't grow at a fast pace until all the color had grown out of my hair. So that's like a personal thing for me. I just think that any times you have, you have color treated hair, you have to do, 
additional steps to keep your hair healthy to make sure that the hair isn't getting dry and brittle and breaking off. So if you have color treated hair, that's fine. But I'm just saying like you really, really need to make sure that you're using products that's going to lock in the moisture so your hair won't break off. But I'm just not a fan of color treated hair. Now I'm all for like permanent dye. I mean not permanent dyes, semi-permanent dyes and rinsing and all that other stuff. But if you're trying to retain your length, in my opinion, I feel like you should stay away from um, color treatments. Now, if you've reached the length that you want, you feel like you take care of your hair really well, you got everything down and you want to do color, cool. But that's just my opinion. The next tip I recommend is to seal your ends. I feel like people do not understand how important it is to protect your ends this is i've been natural for almost eight years now and i feel like this is something that i still have to mentally tell myself when i'm doing my hair if i'm putting a product on my hair if i'm deep conditioning my hair i always have to say okay make sure you get the ends so i, I try to start with the ends and then work my way back up and then go back to the ends and focus on the ends seal them whenever you're doing your twist out braid out whatever you're doing wash and go make sure you're sealing your ends with something so you can lock in that moisture the worst thing you can do is have healthy hair up here and have scraggly ends so make sure you seal your ends with an oil with a butter um a moisturizing lotion whatever it is that your hair likes whatever preference you have make sure you seal those ends and the next tip I would say is trim your ends. I mean, it's pretty simple, people. Every You need to get your ends trimmed, okay, at the end of the day. I hate seeing people that's like, oh, my hair is so long, or it's grown four inches. And then you look at the hair, and it's like, okay, it's grown four inches, but you need to cut three of those inches because your hair is just not going to continue to grow like that. So I feel like once your hair will break at the ends, it'll only increase and go up to the top. So make sure you trim your ends. You can dust your ends if you guys aren't familiar with um, the term dusting because trust me, I wasn't familiar with it when I first went natural either. Like dusting your ends is just like cutting a little bit at a time as, and as opposed to doing like one like major trim. So you can dust your ends like sometimes when I'm two-stranding my twist um, after I wash my hair, after I do a twist, I may just check out my ends, cut, you know, so each little twist that I do, then I may just cut a little bit dusting my ends um but yeah make sure you trim your ends I can't tell you how often you should trim your ends because I feel like everybody's hair is different um but for me I trim maybe like three about three times a year I probably could trim more if I want to but I'm one of those people I don't have a problem with cutting my hair so I'm not like uh, a natural or a person who has longer hair that's like trying to hold on to every little strand and every little inch because I don't measure my hair. I don't know how long my hair is. I just want my hair to be healthy. So if I'm looking at my hair and I feel like I need to trim off three inches, I need to trim off three inches. But I feel like I have a healthy regimen that it really would, it really would matter. I never went into this saying, okay, I want my hair to be down to my ankles. I went into this saying I wanted to have healthy hair. I wanted something different. So trimming your ends is totally up to you i also would recommend um if you're natural and you're still having a hard time with what products work for your hair what your regimen should be i really really would recommend getting a consultation from a natural hair salon i know that it's pricey but i feel like you're paying for the lesson meaning Say you go to the hair salon, they charge $150 for the initial consultation and then they're going to give you like two strand twist or give you some type of protective style, whatever, you know, you decide you want. I feel like during the consultation, they're going to go over the texture of your hair. They're going to tell you um, what type of products work best for your hair, what type of regimen you would need. And I feel like even though it's pricey up front, in the long run, you're going to save money because if you're buying a lot of products that don't work for your hair, then you're just wasting money. So I would recommend you get a consultation figure out what's going on with your hair and then keep up the regimen and I promise you will see a huge huge difference in your hair the health of it the growth and everything so those are my tips um I could have added like a few other things but I feel like I didn't want to beat y'all over the head with the same stuff that you hear from everybody else I just felt like those were the one of the top ones that I felt like um I use and what has worked for me so far for length retention so um I guess that's it Drop down in the comments and let me know what other type of videos you guys want to see. 
I do plan on uh, washing my hair. I'm just not sure when I'm going to wash it. And of course, I'll probably do a protective style. So I will film that. But yeah, I'm just really excited about, you know, being back on camera. I miss everybody. I miss interacting with y'all. So yeah, just leave me a comment below, please. I look forward to reading it. Oh, don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Instagram at DS Favors. So until next time, talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>